Hi, my name is Jason Vandenberg, and I'm the creative director on Red Steel 2. We are showing you uh, our, our Tokyo Game Show content. We're going to the show with our one of our first bosses in the game. This is Payne. He's a uh, he's the leader of the Jackals, our samurai motorcycle thugs, and uh, he's an enemy that you that <laughs> you come to loathe. Um, so, without further ado, I'm going to drop into game and show you what we have to offer. All right. Now the main event. Payne is a very aggressive fighter. This fight is a one-on-one -on -one melee fight, at least until he summons his friends. You can see he fights with a sword and a gun. Uh, he uses both equally well. He prefers to get in close and beat the crap out of his opponents in hand-to-hand -hand combat. But if you, uh, if you drop back too far, he'll also shoot bullets in your face. You're gonna need to know how to block and dodge when you're fighting Payne. He's very tough. Payne is the leader of the Jackals, so he can summon enemies during the fight, allies to help him um, back him up. Uh, he brings in these shooters, uh, forcing you to switch targets and split your time between Payne himself and the shooters that he's brought in. Payne's fighting style involves uses, the use of multiple combos. He has several different attack chains that he'll initiate that involve mixing up uh, shooting and slashing, heavy strikes and quick strikes, a lot of different possibilities that he can use against the player. He's a very full frontal enemy. He really wants to take you on face-to-face, uh, -face. and so uh, he makes an excellent first challenge for the player. Payne can knock you in the air. It's a power called the Lift which is a power that the player will earn later on. Your first experience of this power, though, is when it's used on you, then later in the game you get to turn around and use it on your enemies. When he knocks you up in the air like that, you can parry his attacks, or sometimes he'll knock you to the ground. You can actually be shooting at him, and sometimes he'll shoot at you instead of leaping in the air. As with many of our enemies, they will change their behavior as they become more weakened. Uh, as you do more damage to him, his attack chains will get tighter and tighter and faster and faster. This is a system that is in place for several of our other enemy types as well. They are aware of their health and will change their attack to a more frenzied version accordingly. We hope you've enjoyed watching our first boss fight. Hope you have a chance to get behind the sword and try and take on pain yourself. Enjoy.